Hello. How are you? How are you? How are you? Of course, this is your guy Albert. Welcome, welcome to this channel. In case you are new on this channel, what you do, you just subscribe, put notification. Anytime we do video, you get notified. Ndo usikose, usikose mambos, mambo mazuri ambao tunaongelea kila siku. Mambo ya ambao ya kuchenga wewe. Guys, today niko na ujumbe. Na niko na ujumbe. It's happening. Mambo ya nafanyika pale Canada. Singeweza kukaa hapa hivi nikikaa na bila mimi kukuelezea. Mambo ya nafanyika watu wana fruswa wakifukuzwa back to the country Kenya. Ah... Uh, we understand we understand kila mtu anatafuta mbinu sa kujisaidia ama sa kustoka uh, Kenya nje yake and at least maybe Canada US ndio apate angalau apate the change of life because of the job opportunities ambazo ziko pale nje watu wanajaribu kuama at least wapate nini but Kenya kimefanyika hapa hivi kuna bad news tuko nayo ambao tunafaa kujua mbona hizi zinafanyika the bad news tuko nayo ni wale wa Kenya ambao walipata visa kutoka Kenya waka travel kwenda Canada wakaenda Canada na hizo visa ni eh, visit visa za kwenda kutembea pale kwa aji ya kwenda kutafutia maisha yao at least waone kama vitu zitakuwa sawa. Uh, walipofika pale Canada uh, the bad news in him happen wameweza kufruswa tena kutoka Canada wakaregesha back to the country. Sababu simejulikana ni gani ndio kisi nataka niwaelezee na muweze kujuepukana na hizi shida msiweze kuogopa Canada inahitaji watu Canada inataka watu wakuje but inategemea unaenda Canada namna gani. Guys, take this video seriously. Skiza to the end ndio uweze jua ni jinsi gani unaweza fanya ili uweze ukienda Canada ama ukitaka kwenda Canada ama US ni jinsi gani unaweza make it through ndio uweze kujisaidia wewe mwenyewe because Watu wamekuwa wakitumia shortcuts. The shortcuts zenye wanatumia ziko very expensive. They are very expensive shortcuts kwa kutumia hawa watu ambao wanaitwa agents. Ambao wana wako pale Kenya, ma agents wanawasaidia ku apply for the visit visa and uh, wanalipisha pesa mingi sana to an extent kuna wengine wana end up kuuza mashamba plot ya nyumbani yote sababu ya kupata kulipa agent ndi aweze kumsaidia i think hii ni makosa yenye mnafanya nyinyi wenyewe yenye mnafaa kurekebisha mjue chinzi ya kufanya na wengine pia wamekuwa scammed wanalipa agent agent anapokea pesa pesa ni mingi but agent anawadanganya ati anafanya kazi anawatengenezea visa but wana aimalizi vizuri pesa inaenda kipotea hiyo wengine imeenda through wamelipa hizo pesa wamefanya process wame spend over 700 Kenyan shillings wame travel paka wamefika Canada wameuza mashamba wameuza wame wamechukua wame maloans then after kufika Canada wanafukuzwa tena wamerekesha back to the country wamekuwa deported back to the country uh, makosa ni yenu 
na hii makosa ukisikiza hapa sasa hivi unaweza rekebisha hiyo makosa si hati Canada haitaki watu si hati Canada haitaki watu waende huko Canada bado inahitaji watu kuna makazi huko kuna kazi ni mingi but inategemea vile umechipanga Awa ma agents ambao wanakula pesa zenu ambao mnatumia ni watu ambao wako pale Kenya ambayo ile kazi ambayo anakusaidia wewe mwenyewe unaweza ifanya pila yeye kuifanya Tumewas tumaelezea vizuri sana ukienda kwa website ya Canada uingie kwa hiyo website unaweza kifanyia everything ambao agent anafanya wewe mwenyewe na usave hizo pesa na after umepata hiyo ofisa yako after umepata hiyo ofisa yako makosa yenye watu wanafanya kubwa wanaamua ku travel kwenda Canada bila kupata host After kupata fisa yako unafaa wanze kushughulika kutafuta connection ya host. Host ni ule mtu ambaye anaishi pale Canada uweze kutafuta connection. Najua unaweza kosa una mtu wana anaishi Canada ni but eh, unaweza tafuta unaweza ongea na marafiki hapa social media. Hata mimi unaweza niulizia Albert niko na kama niko na niko na connection ama niko na mtu pale ndio niweze kuconnect but lenye nakwambia sasa hivi uzitupute to travel before upate host makosa watu wanafanya kubwa agent anampatia visa yeye anakimbia pale ana anangangana ana, anakata ticket ndule Canada kufika pale Canada anakuwa stranded wa Kenya maonekana wakiwa Canada pale Canada wako stranded. Hawaji wanaenda wapi? Ama wako wako pale. Hawaelewi. Ma maisha ni tofauti ile ni nchi nyingine. Kama sasa hivi kumeanza kuwa na winter time. Imagine winter time and uh, you are stranded. Na hauna mali pa kulala. Baridi ndio hiyo. Don't you think ni stress juu ya stress nyingine juu yake it's very painful guys if you can avoid hii mambo na kuchukua kutumia ma agents na kuna video na wafanyia after this one step by step on how to apply for the Canada visa without using any agent by yourself if you can avoid hii mambo na shortcuts mambo itakuwa sawa unaweza pata visa peke yako kazi manake agent amekusaidia kusoma na we pia ungekuwa mzuri wa kusoma unafuatilia hizo steps venye agent anafanya unaweza 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 save pesa mingi sana utalani vitu mingi sana na baada ya kupata visa yako after getting your visa because it's very easy to get Canada visa. Makosa kubwa usiweze travel kutoka Kenya kama hujapata agent. Unaweza pata visa ya visit visa for 10 years. But sababu 10 years baada itaisha kesho we kuwa na visa yako kuwa nao kwa mkono. This is the direction I'm giving you now. Kuwa na visa yako kwa mkono, anza kuongea na watu vizuri online. Tafuta ma connection ongea na watu ongea na sisi ongea na watu mtu yote mwenye ko Canada ongea na mimi ongea na anybody mwenye anaweza unaweza ona kuna anaweza kuwa na connection to reach out people mwenye ko pale Canada ndia ukipata hiyo connection ndio uweze kupata host ukipata host now you are allowed to start to get a ticket mu host ya kuweza kukushika mkono Ukifika Canada host ataku ataku host kwake atakushika mkono atakuonyesha the direction on how to live in that country because your country ni mpya kwako lazima ushikwe mkono ni kama US tu alafu host atakuelekeza then unaweza change status from 
visit visa to something hiyo utaelewa tu kwa na mbele lakini hiyo mambo yote host atakusaidia kama manake najua <coughs> malengo yako kubwa ni maisha yake kwe sawa but maisha yake hizi ka sawa kama huna host host ndiye atakushika mkono eh? make sure utafute your connection host akushika mkono akusaidie akuelekeze na we pia kuwa mwepesi wa kushika instructions kufuata vitu haraka haraka kuwa mtu ako chap chap mtu mwenye anajituma ukifuatilia hizo instructions vizuri unaweza hawezi kuwa deported wa Kenya wamefukuzwa kutoka Canada because wako stranded walipatikana kama wanafanya kazi eh, na hizi kazi zenye unafanya hapa uko Canada na hapa US uwezi fanya kazi kama una work permit uwezi fanya kazi kama una una vitu za zenye zinastahili ikabidi wa wakaanza kuwafanya msakato wakaangalia wakaangalia wakapata ni group mingi sana ina imechificha imekuja kwa njia yenye si mzuri kama ungekana hii maneno yote upate host mwenye anakuelekeza vizuri wangekuwa mebaki wangefukuzwa wangekuwa deported but guys make sure you follow the instructions make sure you avoid the shortcuts acha kwa avoid hizo shortcuts acha kupeana ma agents pesa mingi sana manake agents pia hajui chochote wewe wengine agent after umempatia pesa umepata hiyo ofisa yako amemalizana na wewe hajui chochote ona sasa nakumbuka wakati umekuwa deported from Canada to Kenya umearibu nyota yako ya maisha yako uwezi enda nchi nyingine tena washaaribu hata upate green card ya kuja amerikani au utakuja because washaaribu washa record yako ya deportation my friend be careful on this one and make sure una learn to follow the instructions tumefanya video mingi venye unafuatilia fuatilia hizi video tumefanya hapa kwa youtube kuna zingine za kukuja usa kuna visa mingi na zatumika fuata hizo video steps step by steps tumewaonyesha kama sasa hivi my next video ni kuonyesha step by step on how to apply uh, canadian canadian visa na uweze kufanyia wewe mwenyewe bila kutumia agent na uweze kusave pesa mingi sana na kuja kuniambia Santa Albert kwa kutusaidia because last time tulikuwa na platform na Samuel Okema mheshimiwa pale kwa Facebook tukaelezea mambo hii yote ya venye unaweza pata hizi eh, mambo na visa visit visa work visa pale Canada alituelezea akatuambia the only way kupata hizi visa ni rahisi sana na ziko available but watu waache shortcuts. Shortcuts ni gani? Shortcut ni kutumia agents. Agents anataka pesa. Ni kazi pia yako. Ma agents ni kazi wanafanya. But unaweza you can avoid it. As much unataka kuzifanyia vitu peke yako, you can avoid that one na usave hizo pesa. Hmm? Please guys, learn to follow instructions, learn to to take note mali where necessary na tusaidiane tusaidiane tusiende kuwa kuonekana pale tuko stranded tunaonekana tunaonyesha picha mbaya sana ati tumefukuzwa tumeonekana wa Kenya wamejaa pale wametoroka Kenya wamejaa pale wako stranded wako homeless inaonyesha picha nyingine mbaya sana let's all uh, gang here and follow the instructions and uh, on my next on my video which i will do step by step make sure you follow that video if you want to go to canada you still you are still welcomed canada inahitaji watu hizo visa si available fuata hizo hiyo video yenye nikifanya step by step na ujifanyie mwenyewe na utafika canada rahisi sana all the best guys i wish you all and see you in the next video bye